Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to plot ROC curve for the given problem definition. This is the solved example number one. The link for other examples is given in the description below. First, we will try to see where ROC curve is used. ROC curve is nothing but a receiver operating characteristic curve, which is used to know the performance of a classification model at different classification thresholds. To draw ROC curve, we need to know two parameters. The first one is a true positive rate and the second one is a false positive rate. In this case, we have been given this data set with 10 different thresholds where we have been given two things like one is the actual class and another one is the probability of classification here. Given this particular data, we need to calculate TPR and FPR. To calculate TPR and FPR, again, we need to know two more parameters that is TP and FP here. Now, what is TP? TP is nothing but true positive in this case. What is true positive is, uh, let us assume that the actual class is positive and it is classified as positive, that is nothing but a true positive over here. The second one is uh, false positive, that is nothing but the actual class is negative, but it is classified as positive, that is nothing but a false positive over here. Once you know these two parameters, you can easily calculate TPR, that is TPR is equal to TP divided by P, that is uh, a TP we have already calculated that is true positive and P is the number of positive examples to calculate FPR. FPR is nothing but a false positive rate which is equal to FP divided by N where N is the number of negative examples here. Now we try to calculate these values. To calculate this particular TP, uh, we consider this particular first tuple here. The first tuple's probability is 0 0.90. Now we consider this one as a threshold for time being and if the calculated probability is 0 0.90 or more then the tuple is classified as positive here so because this is the only tuple having uh, the probability is 0 0.90 this will be classified as positive here now the example is positive and it is classified as positive the meaning is it is a true positive so we will write one here and false positive will become zero in this case and tpr is equal to one divided by five and FPR is equal to 0 divided by 5, that is equal to 0 0.2 here and 0 over here. Now coming back to the next tuple, once you consider next tuple, the probability is 0 0.80, so this will be considered as a threshold here. Now, if the threshold probability is 0 0.80 or more, the example will be classified as positive. Again, uh, this will be classified as positive and example is actually positive, the meaning is true positive will be incremented by 1, that will become 2 and FP will remain 0 here. And then we need to calculate TPR. TPR is equal to 2 by 5 and FP, uh, FPR is equal to 0 by 5. 5 because there are 5 positive examples and 5 negative examples are there here. So the value is uh, 0 0.4 and 0 in this case. Similarly, we will consider one more example here. In this case, uh, 0 0.70 is the probability. So anything equal to 0 0.70 or more than 0 0.70 will be classified as positive here. So this is again classified as positive, but actual class is what? Negative here. Because of this, it will be considered as a false positive. So false positive will be incremented by 1. Now it will become 1 here and it will be kept as it is, that is 2 and 1 here. And then uh, TPR is equal to 2 by 5 and FPR is equal to 1 by 5. It will become 0.4 and 0.2 here. Similarly, we have to calculate all other uh, uh, the TPR and FPR. Once you calculate this particular TPR and FPR for all these particular uh, data points, we can easily draw this particular ROC curve. So ROC curve is drawn uh, something like this, that is TPR against uh, FPR here. We have already calculated TPR as well as FPR for all the thresholds. So I will start with this particular FPR that is 0 and associated TPR is 0 0.2. So this is 0 and then 0 0.2 is this particular data point. Second one is 0 0.4. So again it is 0 and this one is 0.4 over here. The next one is 0 0.2, 0 0.4. So this is 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.4. The third data point is over here. Next one is 0 0.2 and 0 0.6. It will come over here. Similarly, we need to mark all these particular points and then we need to uh, connect them. You will get final ROC curve over here. If you want to get the convex kind of hull, you can use or you can connect these part of things. You will get a final ROC curve here. So in this video, I have discussed uh, how can we plot ROC curve for the given data points. I have already discussed one more example. The link for other example is given in the description below. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.